Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Faiz Alam, working as a functional consultant at BISP. BISP is a tech company providing technological solutions across the globe. In today's session, we will be uh, going uh, through the budget and how we can set the budget in Oracle NetSuite. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get started. Uh, first, uh, we uh, we should know what are actually budgets. Uh, what are the budgets actually? So, budget is a, a budget is basically a financial plan for a particular period that is made to enhance the success of any organization. It provides uh, estimates of incomes and expenses uh, for a specific period of time, and this is mainly done for financial planning purposes. Budget helps in the, uh, budget helps in setting the goals and measuring the outcomes. Uh, also, it helps in the planning for the uh, future uncertainties. Uh, in net suite, each budget covers a year and permits the entry of an amount per account for each accounting period. The next feature of budgets are it does not control the actual incomes and expenses. It just uh, provides us the information for the reports only. Uh, budgets can be created for specific customers, projects, items, uh, departments, classes, and locations. The account, uh, the account types I would say that are to be taken while creating budgets are the incomes. Uh, if I talk about the income statements, so from that we can take the incomes like service revenue, sales return, intercompany revenue, and the expenses. We will be having general expenses, freight and delivery, purchase discount and all. And income and expenses account can also be taken over here like direct labor, revenue, sales return, cost of goods sold. Uh, moving ahead uh, for the balance sheet account type, we would be having the we would be having the assets, liabilities, and the equities. So this is how we can uh, have the uh, I would say we can take the accounts for creating but moving on to the NetSuite application for setting a budget we have we will be going under the transactions over to the financials and over to the setup budgets and list. Here we can see a uh, a picture, a window of budget, a list of budget has opened up before us. Uh, here we are having the accounts and the subsidies and all. For creating new budget, we would be going under the new budget. We we can click on the new budget tab. So we can see a new uh, new uh, win, uh, budget page has opened before us as we have to set up a budget. The first thing over here is accounting book first we have to select the accounting books two options are here for which i will be taking a primary accounting book the second option is subsidiary for which subsidiary we want to create this budget like i will be taking here mexico the year is also taken into consideration for which uh, year we want to create this budget so here i will be taking uh, fiscal year uh, 2021 budget category Budget category is like for which uh, category we want to create this budget like I would be taking your current. So this field, the next field that is budget category type has already been taken up here over has uh, uh, like uh, two options are here under the budget category type. One is global and the one is and the other is local. So as soon as I have selected the budget category, the budget category type has already appeared. Currency has already been taken up over here. I have told you that the budgets can be created for customers or projects for any item. Uh, if we want to create budget for any class, department or location, we can mention uh, these things, these informations over here if we want to. Under the account type, I have told you that the account type that we want to take like income and expenses are here if we want to take a, any particular income account we can select it over here expense balance sheet account like all the assets liabilities and equities would be falling in so here i will be taking expenses account so you can see as soon as i have selected the account type over here the list has changed now all the expenses from the income statement are being visible over here 
these steps mark all if i click over here it will select all the accounts that are given below if i click on unmark all it will uh, automatically unmark uh, unmarking all the expenses account so for next is the apply box this box is for you know including or excluding any account uh, that we want to make a budget for like i would be taking here general and administrative professional fees so to enter an amount like for the month of january i will be uh, mentioning here amount like 200 or i would say 2000 okay so what i would what i will do i will just uh, put the amount in the month of january and check uh, check this box over here and click on the distribute item so you can see that the um, amount has been appeared in the remaining months as well so it will automatically be distributed uh, the next option we will be we will be having is fill like i would be taking here cost of goods sold and i mentioned the amount over here like 100 and check this box and click on the fill option and you can see the amount has been uh, filled in the remaining uh, months as well so i do not have to uh, you know uh, mention uh, the amount in each column separately we can do that we can enter the amount separately as well but if we want to copy any amount uh, for the remaining uh, months we can click on the fill and if we have uh, if we want to distribute a particular amount from the uh, from one month to the remaining month so we can click on the distribute after doing all these things we can click on the save tab and here we can see that the uh, that our budget has been created successfully the another thing is if we want to delete any budget from the record so like uh, i would be taking here this ADIT equipment and click on edit. Uh, for deleting this account, I will be going under the actions. We, 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 are, we are having this option delete. I will click on delete. Click on OK. And click on save. So here we can see that we got the confirmation that the budget has been deleted from the records. So this is how we can set up any budget or create any budget and uh, delete any budget in, the, in our NetSuite application. Thanks for watching.